we all know Bad Bunny is a global superstar with a crazy fan base. I mean, he's basically the number one artist in the world. But I don't think y'all understand what Bad Bunny means to Puerto Rico. We are people that have been told our whole lives that basically we're not good enough, that we don't even deserve equal rights as American citizens. We are literally a colony. We've been brainwashed to think that who we are and where we're from is less than and isn't good enough. And our whole life should be to aspire to live in the USA and be American instead of be who we are. And then comes Bad Bunny who says, soy de pe fucking R. Who comes in during Hurricane Maria, which like I can't even talk about, honestly. I'm gonna get choked up even saying Hurricane Maria. And in comes Bad Bunny with the anthem, Tamo Bien. And then after the hurricane, we have a revolution in the streets. Ricky renuncia. And who comes in to be with the people? Who? Bad Bunny. Even though he was at the peak of his fame, he was in the streets with the people protesting. Puerto Rico has a problem with transphobic murders. And in comes Bad Bunny doing one of his biggest hit singles, music video, dressed as a woman. He does his first concert in Puerto Rico after the pandemic and basically opens the show with like a 10 minute documentary about Puerto Rico pride and all of the beautiful, important people who have come from here and why we should all be so proud to be Boricua. He's one of the only pop culture Puerto Rican artist that has the guts and the balls to say no. He doesn't want to be part of the United States and we don't need to worship gringos. I mean, he's low key claiming himself as an independentista. Out loud, that's a big deal here. So yeah, the dedication to Bad Bunny in Puerto Rico is real. Cause we don't just love him because he's fashion forward and a dope ass reggaetonero. No, we love him because he is a model of the sovereignty and power and infinite capabilities and possibilities of an awoken Boricua.